thought wasted basically on this um, I'm not gonna finish this knife um I made these two fire steel handles out of the same pine cone uh, stabilized pine cone as this it was just some leftover that I had and I put some uh, micarta in the middle just to make it thick enough um, for it to be comfortable and when I finished up these I sanded them and for the first one I was like uh, to get the smoothest finish with a hand sand not to polish it but just with a hand sand I wanted to I put some just a little bit of water on here and sanded it at 2000 grit and as I did that the pine cone itself um, just started to lift off and, and it's really uncomfortable in hand like if if I do this it's not it does not feel very nice so for the second one this one I did not put uh, water on there when I sanded it and I just sanded it and then I finished it off and I thought I was like hmm how can I maybe I can fill up with uh, oil you know let the pine cone suck up some oil and then it won't rise as high um, so I gave it some Danish oil and I just tested it out because I was ready to shape up the knife um, put some water on there and after five minutes the I don't know what what they're called the the flakes the seeds scales I don't know what they're called uh, off the pine cone they just rose up again and it's like really uncomfortable in hand and then I did some research online and I found out that if the stabilization process has not been done properly and they've just um, if, if they've just poured epoxy resin around the pine cone not stabilized it this is the result you get um, the pine cone is not well suited for a knife handle and I've, I found out that I don't want to order from these guys again because they did not do a very good job of that and also as you can see I've made three or four repairs actually on this handle just at this stage um, because the pine cone and the scale was so crisp that uh, one of the repairs is I uh, I broke it when I screwed the Kobe screws in and they are aluminium so they're not I can't get much torque on there so they're really crisp and also had some issues when I uh, milled down the scales so overall conclusion I'm just gonna drop this um, I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna sand off you know on the belt grinder just sand off the scales and yeah then I have to reapply finish on the blade and find out what type of scales I should put on here um, I don't know that yet I was really excited about this but you know, sometimes things just do not work, work out the way they were supposed to. Uh, luckily for me, this was not a custom project. It was just a side project that I have been working on for now close to a month. Um, yet, still a lot of thought wasted, basically, on this. Uh, but I've learned some, so that's good. And... Um, yeah, I don't know. This really sucks.
Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.